What's going on everybody? Adam here with eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Fastway One Step XL wheel chocks. So if you're really looking to upgrade your wheel chalk game just because you want a little bit more stable of a feel whenever you're inside, as you can see we just have some random wheel chocks. A lot of the times people get creative. But the bad thing about these kind of wheel chocks, whether it's just a block of wood or an actual chalk that goes on the outsides, you're still going to have a decent amount of play. I don't necessarily love that because you can only get it so tight against the outside edge. You usually just sit there, I kick it until it gets in there. But with this, you can still use your feet, but it's a lot easier. And it's really going to use a lot of force to get a lot of a lot more stabilization out of the chalk. So as you can see right here, this is basically the what a normal wheel chalk does. You know, it kind of gives us a little bit of wiggle, but with this, just use that foot, instead of kicking that chalk in, you stomp down like that, and already you can see there is no movement whatsoever. So whenever we're working on these RVs, maybe even on the roof, or even just living on the inside, you want it to feel like home and you just want it to feel stable when you're working. So with this, this is the best way to stabilize your camper or trailer and also chalk it up. As far as the construction goes, I'm digging the color combo. One, just because this is gonna resist against rust and corrosion over time, just because it is powder coated. And we are gonna have a zinc wheel chalk. So that's why we didn't really want to powder coat this just because it'll get scraped up and stuff, but we do have a zinc coating on it so it's not gonna rust away over time. And they also thought about it with the cable. So this is just used just to pull up to disengage the chalks. And the nice thing about that is it is coated. So you're not gonna be scraping your hands or cutting your hands whenever these start to fray. It's got a nice coating over it, so it's gonna be UV resistant and it's not gonna hurt your hands. One thing I would add to this setup, it does not come with it, is a padlock. So if once you figure out exactly which configuration you need, you should be able to find a little hole that's going to be open. So what we can do is kind of fish a lock or something like that to this. So it's going to prevent it from wanting to separate these three pieces. You can do that. You can lock it down a bunch of different other ways if you wanted to do a cable lock or something. But a padlock's really going to do the best for this. So I would definitely recommend adding that because all the other wheel chocks that we have, you can't really lock them. But with this one, you do have that option, which I like. So comparing it to some of the other wheel chocks, one, just compare it to your basic wheel chocks. You know, if you have one on the outside, one on each side of the outside, you know, you're not really, there's no pressure being pushed in, kind of like how these two are pushing against each other to give you that stabilization you're wanting. With that, they're gonna start shifting around and you're still gonna have a little bit of movement. So if you just wanted to upgrade from normal chocks, we have these, but there's also ones where I would put in the same ballpark as the one step, and that is going to be by Ultra Fabs. The Ultra Fabs going to sit in right here. So one, you have to put it in there. You got to make sure it's not going to fall down or anything like that. And then you have to take a tool to tighten it up, and then it basically just expands in between your wheels. I don't like that as much because one, it's a little bit more difficult. Two, you need a tool. With this, like all we have to do is make our adjustments. You can just use your hand and the tool that they included to move these bolts. But then all you need really is your foot. So if it were me, one, I think these are more stable. Two, it's a lot easier. I really do like the design and it's super, super easy to use and install. So I'm gonna chalk this one up as a win. But if you stick around, we're gonna show you exactly how we did it. This is how the chalk is going to come out of the box. It's just going to have one of these rods in here, but it is going to come with the second one and an extra pin. But there are some measurements to take to see if this is going to be necessary or not. So let's go ahead and just put this in there as if it's already adjusted to what we want. Kind of just place it in like that. And as you can tell and see, it's really, really tight, and I really don't think with stepping on it, we're really gonna have it's really adjusted right. So I'm putting a lot of weight on there, not adjusted right. So what we can do is we can pull this little pin right here and then slide this guy out. So we were on this hole here. So what I'm gonna try to do is go down one hole and adjust a little bit. 
So what we can do is kind of take that pin, go through just one hole over. Still really not gonna do it for us. So let's do one more hole down. So we're gonna go with this one. Just like that. All right, perfect, we're in business. So now once that's done, you just wanna put the pin through just like this. Now we can take our foot. There we go, and that's locked into place. So you are gonna have to kind of play with it a little bit, especially if you're going from trailer to trailer, it might be a smart idea to kind of mark it if you are gonna be changing it constantly. But for this right here, you just gotta play with it to find the right hole and make sure it has a nice, sturdy, sturdy amount of pressure, just like that. It's best whenever you really have to put your foot on it and put a decent amount of pressure in there, especially if you're gonna be moving around and yada, yada, yada. So this is about the right amount of tension. Straight out of the box, it is gonna be adjustable from 16 inches to 24 inches. And where we get that measurement is from tip to tip. So from the very, very edge of this chalk to the very, very edge of the other, 16 to 24 out of the box. But if you are using a rather larger trailer, whether you're a trucker or you just have a massive trailer, we can use this other piece to fit in there and that's gonna get us from 24 all the way to 30 inches. And again, from tip of the chalk to tip of the chalk. If we are gonna need to make this a little bit bigger and we're gonna need to use this, just notice how this thing's set up. So we have one bar right here and that's what we're gonna achieve on the other side. So the only thing we really need to undo is here. It does come with an Allen key. Go ahead and just put that in there. And then we will need a 9 16 inch socket on the other side. It is a nylon lock nut. So it'll take a little bit. If you have hand tools, I would use them. You don't really need to use any power tools or anything like that. We just need to take this thing out real quick. And once that's off, keep your eyes on all of the hardware. So we're gonna need to use all that again. So slide this out. We're gonna have two washers, our bolt and our nut. And then what we wanna do is notice how on this side, we just have one hole. So that is this side of our bracket. So we're gonna do that same exact thing. So I like to put it on the same side as the other bracket. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the bolt through this bracket Put one washer on this side, and then one washer on the other. Then we can tighten this up. We do not want to tighten it up all the way. We still want this thing to be able to pivot, but we do want it to be nice and snug. So that's why those washers are in there. So get it kind of almost completely tight, but we do want these things to kind of just be able to swing there. Kind of like, see that's a little too tight. I'll loosen up a little bit. There you go. You kind of want it to be able to go on its own. Just like that. So then we can go ahead and take our extra little piece and clip. And we can put that through whichever hole is going to work. Like I said, you're going to have to mess with it a little bit to find out exactly which one's going to be best for you. And we can do those adjustments either on our bar here or on our chalk. So as you can see, we do have some other adjustments here. So whatever is going to work best for you, you can adjust a lot of different ways. So if you really want to stabilize your trailer or your camper, this is gonna be the best way to do it. You're gonna get the most amount of leverage and regardless of what surface you may be on, this thing's not gonna slide away or anything like that. And all you really need is your foot to get it locked down and secured into place. And that's pretty much it for a look at the Fastway One Step XL Wheel Chalk.